girl y'all it's a chit chat is this whole zooming in i, I shouldn't call my camera a hoe i'm sorry um y'all your girl has been an emotional wreck the past few days and i had some notes here we may just have to wing it i wrote down we may have to wing it it is what it is baby i got me a drink i fixed me a cocktail my nails look a mess this is a chit chat um and yeah i know how we do with these chit chat i talk about what's going on in my personal life when i'm watching on youtube and when i'm watching these youtube streets so let me go ahead and, and adjust the camera so so you guys um my family has had several losses several deaths over the past week or so and it, it has been so i've been on an emotional roller coaster um you'll have to excuse the background girl my ratchet <laughs> having a field day he's having fun though bless his heart so i explain it in my upcoming vlog um the reason why i'm really emotional is that i i viewed one of the funerals today online um because the family had it out in tyler texas so just a re just you know um my cousin was involved in a really bad accident that only left him alive his two children and his girlfriend died in the accident my dad's father i'm sorry sorry my dad's uh um, brother passed away he had been sick for a long time and then apparently another distant cousin also died in a car accident so it's it's a lot so i'm not gonna sit up here in front and be like oh you know i was close with these people i was not close to them however we are a big family and when one of us hurt we all hurt especially when it comes to those babies you know when they were only three and five years old and i i get a little bit more into the detail in my video in my vlog so y'all that's going on but the reason why i was okay until not necessarily okay correction i was doing better until i saw the funeral today and my little sister said she didn't even want to watch it and they did end up burying the babies together in one casket it, it's just it, it, it's just a bit much besides that we are doing well um jb has been really on one y'all I, I had to start him on singular again and i noticed that when he does get started on singular his mood is all over he's wow he's like a wild animal so we took him off of it four days ago because mind you two weeks ago i think it's been about two weeks he had an asthma attack so um we give him or well, at least give him magnesium because that helps him with his mood and activity too so this week is our last week of homeschooling thank god and then um for the remaining of the summer we're just going to be reading and doing math and that is it but baby when i tell you you guys there is not a week that goes by that i do not think about putting this child back in school then i remember how he was in school how the teacher was lost because he seemed lost girl you the teacher and how you know the bullying school and shooting a couple of weeks ago i'm like no nah, i'm good i'll just have to you know suck it up and continue you know what i mean until things get better and things may not may never get better so y'all that's what's going on um taking one day at a time work is okay my husband is okay um i think he's okay girl. <laughs> no he's okay <laughs> i had a moment there okay so remember when covid first hit and we all went crazy shopping i'm gonna say we because i'm including your ass in it we all went crazy shopping right i mean buck wild crazy shopping and so a lot of those dresses that y'all saw in my spring try on video were a lot of dresses that i bought when i went crazy right baby I had a little pause there for two or three months. Now I'm back on it. Yeah, I don't know why this is not. And now I'm back on it. So I am buying all types of stuff. Lately, it's been nail stuff. Look over here. Look over here. Look, look, look right here. Do you see all of this? Do you see that? Do you see that? Nail stuff. Um, Because now I do my own nails. Now I'm getting into making my own press on nails. Um, here are some nail designs that I did over the course of the last past week. I know that you really can't. Let's see if that'll zoom in. Come on, girl, sometime today. So these are some nail designs that I 
have been, you know, practicing on. I really do like this dragging. Oh, well, this one and this one right here. So, yeah, y'all, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> um, I bought some nail foils and I bought a bunch of false nails, coffin type. Um, I'm not feeling the nails I have on now and they're coming off because I didn't buff my uh, nail beds properly. I didn't prepare my nails properly, so they're coming off. Let me show y'all some hair products I've been buying. Um, I'm getting them all over here. Don't, I, look, I can already hear y'all judge me. I can hear y'all. Don't, don't say nothing. Girl, <laughs> hold on just a second. Y'all don't, don't say nothing. Look, don't say nothing, okay? We already know what the problem is. We already know. So going back to basics when it comes to hair care, going back to the products I used to use on my hair, going back to, you know, you know, things that worked before I went crazy buying everything. So we have Tresemme's Flawless Curls. I have a, an official review on this baby, but I've never tried it with the shampoo. So we're gonna be doing those together for a wash day. Um, we have Suave's, this is a new line by Suave. Suave's Luscious Curls, their shampoo and conditioner. Excited to be trying these products. Suave, you better not let me down. And then girl, they came in. They came in, girl. The Dabor Vatica. We have the garlic deep conditioning mask, okay? And then we have the tropical coconut mask. I know y'all really can't see this. So very excited to try these. I think I'm gonna do the garlic one first, y'all. And then we'll do the tropical coconut because not everyone can do coconut. Some people are allergic to coconut. And then we have Eden Body Works Natural Curl Defining Cream. I thought I reviewed this product before, but I haven't. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five reviews right there that y'all could be anticipating. Um, so yeah, girl. So y'all, what I'm watching on YouTube. You know what? Girl, I saw Shari J. <laughs> Shari J posted a new video and that girl, I I think I could be bold enough to say, girl, don't I, girl, we want to see your hair. People tired of looking at these at these plants. But maybe there's people that like to watch plants, but I want to see her hair. I know there's probably some of y'all who who be like, "Y'all want to see my hair too." Girl, I don't want to see your plants. I don't want to see your plant collection. I want to see your hair. But I shouldn't say that because maybe she's tired of doing her hair. You know, a lot of us OG YouTubers who have been in the streets for a while, we get tired of doing our, our hair. Um, I know she had like a wellness Wednesday. Um, because remember, Shari J's initial, her first, the name of her channel used to be 180 Days to Lose or something like that. You know, she was trying to lose weight and that was the main focus of her channel. Derek Jackson, y'all. I had to block and unfollow him from, from Facebook. I cannot believe the audacity of this man. Derek Jackson is the love guru, marriage counselor, whose marriage is on the rocks. I cannot believe he's out here promoting his books and, you know, still chasing the bag in the hopes of giving people advice. Now, you have some people that say, and I know a couple of you guys probably agree, agree with this, that his advice still holds holds his advice is still good regardless of his background but i cannot necessarily trust someone's advice knowing what their background is very similar to that i don't even want to mention his name kevin samuel the one that dragged that poor woman that first of all women should stop going on his show um Personally, I think that Kevin is, uh, uh, you know what, we ain't gonna, we, I'm not gonna even say my, I'm not gonna say what I want, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna go there, we're gonna move on, okay, we're gonna move on. <laughs> so, besides that, y'all, I'm not really watching people on, on YouTube. I'm, I'm very surprised to see people leaving very nasty comments on their folks' page that they're apparently subscribed to. Like, who is that, the mukbanger Yummy Bites? There were like people living, leave, leaving really nasty, not necessarily nasty, but very negative comments on under her videos, basically saying that she's copying another 
copying B Love's, um, B Love's Life. Yeah, no, it's the very popular month banger. I said, I'm not really watching anybody on YouTube. I'm really not. So what I'm watching on TV, girl. Okay, let's get started. I watched a movie on Netflix with Amy Adams. I believe it's her name. She has red hair. Amy Adams, Gary Coleman, Anthony Mackey, and it's called The Woman in the Window. It was okay. I'm like, if it is, wasn't this an Alfred Hitchcock rear window? Not girl, the girl in the window. It was okay. Girl, I'm getting old because by like the last 30 minutes of the movies, I start falling asleep. Anyway, saw that on Netflix. Also started to watch, no, Things Seen and Heard. I saw that. It has that British actor from Happy Valley. Happy Valley is a really good series, you guys. It was okay. I didn't like the ending of that one. Yeah, these movies are getting whack. Anyway, I am also finished watching Fargo season two. Amazing acting. Absolutely loved it. Um, I'm watching Top of the Lake. I'm watching Top of the Lake. That is on Hulu. I'm digging it. It's a little weird, but I, 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 can, I can roll with that. What else am I watching, y'all? Stow Away I have on my list on Netflix. Um... Girl, I watched something for the first time. Girl, Sleeping with the Enemy. I, there was, you know, when you're grown and you watch stuff, you think to yourself, that doesn't make any damn sense. So there were so many things in the movie, I was like, that doesn't make any damn sense. That, that, that doesn't make no damn sense. Like, like really? No, I, I'm not digging. <laughs> I watched Sleeping with the Enemy, What's Love Got to Do With It. Um, and yeah, y'all, that's what I've been, what y'all been watching? Tell me what y'all been watching. Now, I may go back and, and watch, uh, Westworld seasons one and two over, um, only because I saw a trailer for season two. Y'all, I really did enjoy that series, and I know a lot of people didn't, didn't dig it. Again, it's Westworld from HBO. Antoinette Busby, she was like, oh, we couldn't get into it. I'm like, girl, what do you mean? Like we can't be friends. Like you need to <laughs> you need to watch it again, Antoinette. So yeah. Um, Westworld, one of my favorite, favorite shows, along with Dark. Cause I like the middle Jonas. So it's fine. So yeah, I know. I'm praying. I'm praying. Y'all, what else am I watching? I feel like I've been watching a couple you know how I am, and I know a lot of people are not like this. I will start to watch a series and stop it. Like, I never finished Game of Thrones. Baby, no. I didn't finish Game of Thrones. I never even finished The Wire. Can y'all be believe that? I got down to, like, season, the last season, three episodes away, and I, did, I just stopped. Because I was bored. So, I think I want to watch This Is Us. I heard it could be a bit emotional, and I'm trying not to go there. So I think I want to watch This Is Us. Oh, Good Girls. I did start start watching Good Girls again. They did give me what, what we want. Rio, I think Rio is in love with Beth, you guys. I really do. But you know what I mean? Like, I think that the um, bad guy, the villain, one of the villains, is in love with Beth. So we should see. We shall see how the next seasons go. Now I'm waiting on Ozark. Give me my Ozark. And that's it, you guys. My child is going crazy. Thank y'all so much for watching. Take care. Bye.